Yeah, guys, back with another vid. Well, uh, this is the show um, some people who haven't seen before, even though it's like many uploads, how to uh, uh, easily fill out a PSA um, submission form. And um, you got two options you can either go online on the internet for now, or you can have them mail the form straight to your house, which is awesome. But, um, uh, yeah, first you want to start at the top, just fill out your basic information like your name, address, and email and all that. You don't, you don't have to fill it out that gray box right there. Total number of orders in a package. It's basically, if you have an order of 30 cards, that counts as one order. But if you have another order, like you're sending it along with someone else, you'll put two orders. Total number of collections included in collectibles included in the package which is the number of cards you will have in there in general the the amount in your, in your submission that you're sending off basically sorry if you can't really see that because this camera sucks but anyway um of course I've um cover up the address and um yeah start off with the quantity they any dumb dumb get right basically you just put the number of the how many cards you have of that particular card uh, so if you have one card you would just of that particular name you would just put one as a quantity quantity the sport you would, well if you were sending Pokemon you would put Pokemon as a sport even though it's not a sport which <laughs> um, a card company you would put whatever the, the set that is from in this case is jungle the year which we 99 or the year of the card in general the card number is uh, number of the card for the card name you will put the name of the card and whether it's holographic or not so if it's holographic just put hollow but if it's not just leave it blank um, current cert which most likely means current certification which reviews um if i'm guessing if you guys sent a car you want to get it looked over maybe you send it back correct me if i'm wrong on that reholders if you have a car that you got graded but you need to get it replaced for whatever reason if you think they the encapsulated case they put it in sucks crossovers if you got like a car graded by bgs that means you would, if you want to cross the PSA, you would, um, I guess you would mark it down there. The minimum grade, you know, if, if you want the card to come back, just put one and they'll send the card back basically. You know, if you, if you, um, put a, a 10 as a minimum grade, it might, uh, bone you and just send your card back without being encased. So I wouldn't recommend that because, as we all know, PSA are assholes. Uh, variety so um Jesus zoom is terrible if the car is first edition you'll put first edition first edition but if it's not first edition you would just leave the car leave that the space blank so um declared value basically what what the card is worth ungraded so yeah that's basically what you paid for it or what you think is worth I don't think that has anything to do with the order, but I'm just saying, you know, it's kind of I kind of boned myself when I filled out the sheet um, tonight because uh, I think I left out like maybe thirty dollars of value. But um, anyway, card grading kind of ignore all this, ignore most of this if you're into the bulk service, unless you want to pay like a thousand dollars for shipping with all this premium express stuff but um um they have the bulk rate which for the 10 card min minimum which 30 days is more, is better than anything else um but you will pay almost double the price because it's 10 dollars a card so it's up to you whether you want to do the 10 card minimum for a 30 day turnaround because um i just only the reason i recommend 30 days because waiting 50 days is it's like a, a big pain to ask but sometimes it just varies grading fee calculation basically the, how many 
the number of items that's in the submission and times whatever the um, cost is. So if the car is six dollars and fifty cents, it will be um, thirty thirty times six dollars fifty cents. If you have thirty cards in your submission, let me write the subtotal right there. USPS shipping fee. If you live in the states, you would check domestic. If you, if you don't live in the states, you would check international postage. Right, alternate return shipping. I think you want to ignore that. Um, discount voucher. If, if you um, whether you decide to get gold or, or platinum uh, membership, you have the six to fifteen. So we got to wait to get the um, the voucher if you send a bulk submission. So um, they told me if, if you wanted to get it fast, you got to go online. But that's if. I think if you're um, if you're not doing bulk, so um, yeah, you will just write the number whether it's six or fifteen right there on the line for the discount. And the total charges is basically everything you add up from the grading fee calculation and shipping. It will go right right there where it has total charges, method of payment, basically whether you have a Visa or Mastercard or any other. Um, the card that you swipe to use pay for your cards and then after you fill out all your um, basic billing address if the uh, billing address information and, and complete the fees you're pretty much done so and don't forget your, your name um, geniuses yeah <laughs> but anyway um, that's pretty much submission form pretty easy uh, sorry if that took too long but um yeah, I'll be sending off. I have an order way bigger than this. Just um, it's a short clip video. But anyway, I'm about to get back to what I'm doing. Probably um, upload this and then check out some more cards for grading. Um, yeah. But anyway, yeah, guys. Yep.